Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I am going to be doing the first video of a new series that I am going to do on my channel and that is a decorate with me. This first series is going to be a fall edition and then I will be doing Halloween, Thanksgiving and of course Christmas. So in these videos I will pretty much be going through my step by step process in decorating um, from taking down the old decor all the way to putting up the new decor. So this first episode or video is going to be showing my family room and then I will have my living room, kitchen, and dining room decorate with me videos all up this week. So it's going to be a week full of videos on my channel. I really hope that you enjoy this and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I always do when decorating for a new season is light a seasonal candle. And today I am burning leaves by Bath & Body Works. So here are all of our fall and autumn bins and we just took these out of the crawl space and the first thing that I'm going to do that I always do is go through the bins and I kind of sort everything by like category what everything is just so that everything is a little bit more organized and if I'm looking for just say a pumpkin or some garland or a wreath I know where everything is because it's all sorted in piles. So right over here I have my summer bin all ready to go so that I can just put everything inside of there and I think we're ready. So let the decorating begin. So like I said the first thing that I do is take everything out of the bins and I just pile it up. I'm not organizing anything right now. I am just making sure that everything that I'm going to be using is out of all of these bins. And just as a quick tip, I wanted to show how I store my lights and that is just wrapping them on some heavy duty cardboard. I'm not sure where I got this cardboard from, but it's just recycled. But this really keeps my lights nice, untangled and working well. So I just wanted to share that tip with you. So now that everything is out of the bins, I begin the sorting process. Okay, so here are my piles all sorted out, and it looks like a mess, but it does make sense to me, so I will try explaining a little bit. Right over here I have my wreaths, and then here is a DIY project that I will be doing on my channel soon. I have some table runners over here, and then some garland, and figurines right here, some sparkly small pumpkins in this pile. Some floral arrangements over here, small scarecrows, some plates, my lights, my outdoor decor, some more floral arrangements, you know I love my faux flowers, some wall decor, and then some larger pumpkins over here. And here is an overview of my fall autumn chaos, the chaotic mess that I love. So of course the first thing that I do is remove all of the old decor. And then once that's all removed, I begin cleaning the furniture pieces. Once I have dusted and cleaned, I can start decorating. And in this video you're going to see a lot of rearranging and positioning and just me stepping back to see if I really like how things are looking. Decorating for me is definitely a process. It's not something that I like to rush. I just like to take my time and make sure everything has found its perfect spot. So I definitely do a lot of repositioning. And here you can see me decorating the fireplace mantle. I mentioned before I love decorating this spot. And for the fall autumn season I love using a lot of colors. So this garland I love to wrap around um, the items on the mantle and I just love using leaves. And Moving on to the smaller areas of the room, even though these are not big spaces to be able to decorate, I love putting just small touches of the season in these little spaces. I think it gives it a really cute look. And even though the seasons are shifting, I am not yet ready to put away the majority of our wedding day decor. So I'm finding ways to decorate using our wedding decor. So here you can see me sticking some leaves into this basket and I had to use two different sets of leaves just to give it that really full and lush look. Next I am just going to put one of these leaf arrangements into this 
little metal bucket and as you can see the stem of this is too thin for this bucket so what I'm doing here is taking some plastic wrap and just wrapping that around the end of the stem of leaves just to give it some more width so that it will sit a little bit more tightly into this bucket and so I'm going to put that in there push down the um, plastic wrap so that it's not able to be seen and then voila it looks nice and it's standing up straight and just looks really full and cheerful so thumbs up for this little decor hack and then I almost forgot to dust this space so I am going to do that right now and then here I am adding some more leaf arrangements to this pile of branches that I have over here and when working with these leaf arrangements you definitely want to make sure that they're spread out and just looking like nice and full And here you can see a little bit more of that interchanging things and making sure everything looks as though it has found its perfect spot. So definitely don't be afraid to change things up if you're not satisfied with where you place things the first, second, or even third time. I absolutely love changing up wreaths. It's such an easy way to spruce an area up and give it some seasonal decor. And then to finish off this room, I spread some carpet cleaner and then I begin vacuuming just to give it that final touch. And that about does it for this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And stay tuned for my remaining autumn, fall, decorate with me videos that will be all up on my channel this week. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. I would truly appreciate it. Also, make sure to check the bottom description for all of my upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and thank you for all of the support. I very much appreciate it. I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, take care.